Hello everyone and welcome back. It is so good to be back and it is so good to have a different backdrop for you guys. I have been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. I finally moved out into my new place and I love my new home because my home comes with a media room, which is a fantastic place for me to build my library. And as you guys can see, my backdrop is so much better and so much different. I actually have three of these bookshelves that I built myself, which took me about a day or two to build, which is fantastic. These bookshelves are absolutely great. So I know you guys are here for a bookshelf tour, which is something I am so excited to share with you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and now I have the space to do it. I cannot wait to show you guys the books that are on my shelf. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering where I've got my bookshelves from, they're actually from Ikea. They are the Billy Bookcase. I have to say for what you pay and the quality of these bookshelves, they are actually really, really good. I have so many heavy books and on my old bookshelf, they actually made a dent like in a lot of the bookshelves, but this one, absolutely fantastic so anyways without further ado we are gonna jump straight into my bookshelf tour let's go okay so starting from the top we have this pictionary up there which is uh i kept it's mine now and then this is actually my mother's she actually had this back in the islands but for somehow i took it <laughs> and then i have this pot plant that i got for my birthday and then this black pink album that my sister bought for me um for my birthday so lucky me so at the top, it's just all my fantasy books. Mostly these books I actually haven't read. Can you believe this? I haven't even read Sarah J Mass's books up here. I haven't read any of the Jade City or V.E. Schwab's Addie LaRue. I haven't read any of these. Like That's the reason I put them up there, but I love them up there because I think they just look really nice and really pretty. And I think they look fantastic. Second shelf just has more of my fantasy books and these are more books. Some of them I've read, some of them I haven't. Like this one I have read, Kingdom of Souls. I absolutely loved this book. I'm still trying to get a hold of the other two because I haven't and I need to. And I've also read Empire of the Vampire, which is uh, by J. Kristoff. This book was so interesting. I don't know, if you're into like the whole vampire thing, I definitely recommend reading this one um especially men just thought i'd put that out there um and ninth house <laughs> i haven't read it either um the shadow of the gods i'm actually going to get around to this really soon but this book cover is just absolutely stunning i mean look how tiny that human is <laughs> so small um but the artwork on this is actually pretty incredible if you actually take the book out um the artwork i think extends like to the back there we go looks like that like a massive dragon but yeah other than that i really really love it that's why i've kept it here just for the time being i don't know if it's gonna stay there forever uh, but i've also read six of uh, um six six of <laughs> six crimson cranes and v.e schwab's gallant which is a fantastic book i loved these two books um so good so yeah this is the second shelf just more like my fantasy books i have read Masha obama's um becoming and sailor moon which is this beautiful manga which i like i cannot explain to you like how pretty this looks i oh, come on come on there we go I'm gonna put it down here so you guys can see it so gorgeous i love it i need to get the rest because there's so many of these and i read this in one sitting it was fantastic my third shelf this one has like a mix of more fantasy i think there's romance on here but a lot of it's just fantasy really most of these i have already read a dowry of blood i've already read i absolutely love this book loved it I hope to see more from this author. And I've also read The Spanish Love Deception, another fantastic romance book. I've read The Beautiful, another one I've already read. Um, I've also read Skin of the Sea, another fantastic fantasy book. Um, Colin Hoover, I've also read this one, Verity. 
um, and I've also read Sally Rooney's Normal People as well. So I've read a lot of these books on these shelves. The rest of these that are still here, I haven't read, which I really need to get around to. Um, that's the second book. I've read the first one. Absolutely loved it. Um, but I can't wait to read the second one as well. So, so good. Most of these I still want to get around to. Witches Steeped in Gold is one that I'm really dying to get around to because this book is absolutely incredible and i've heard some really good things about it so i really want to get around to this as soon as i can okay coming down to the fourth shelf um there are some books on here i have read i have read this one song of the forever rains which was actually a really really good book i really loved it i need to get the second one because i enjoyed this one i don't want to talk about it too much if you want to know just go and watch my reading vlog i've already done a video on that um and i've also read this book here children of blood and bone it's funny i haven't actually read the second one but i've read the first one don't know what's happened here and then the rest like i said i still haven't read any of these but i do kind of want to get around to the girl king emergency contact the last migration just a few of these i really want to get around to i just don't know if i will considering that I'm always busy and I never really have time. All right, so this is my fifth shelf and this is where I keep my Harry Potter books. This book series here I've had for a while, um, but I got it in the bookcase, which is like up there. <laughs> it's at the top, but I like putting them out on display. I think they just look really nice. This bookshelf is probably the one I haven't read. I've already read all of these already. I just, even that, I haven't even gotten around to Court of Thorns and Roses because, I don't know. I've heard so much hype around this book. I just don't know if I'm going to get around to it. I do want to read this one, the Scythe series, because I've heard so many good things. And once again, more books <laughs> I haven't read. So, yeah, let me know if you know any more book series that I can get into um, because I'd love to hear your recommendations. Okay, so this is the last bookshelf. Now these have more of my old Harry Potter books. I have like the first like copies when Harry Potter was printed. These are like the first prints. But I don't know if anybody knows this, but this is actually the first Harry Potter um, and the Philosopher's Stone edition before this one came out. So this was the main one, but this was actually the first one that they made and it's like really old but i went on a hunt looking for these so these are like really old and i really wanted to keep the old ones because i grew up um with these ones so i'm in my 30s now and they just bring so much memories just seeing these old ones um i actually haven't read them they're just more like a collection for me and i really enjoy the old covers this is one that my sister got me for my birthday and then I have like the rest of the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And then I have like the Fantastic Beast and the Divergent series, which I've never read. <laughs> and then I have these two books at the top here. Um, the reason they're here is because I'm not very happy with them at the moment. And um, I'll probably explain that to you um, in another video. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is the second shelf. This is my sister's book shelf. Um, and it, it's quite good. Look at that. She's building up her own books. I'm really proud of her. At the top, those are hers. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. She just seems to have a thing for her little Star Wars, um, Fangle Pops at the top, which is really cute. And then on the first shelf we have here is all of her fantasy books. I actually gave her that book because I'll be honest, um, took me a while. I just couldn't really get into it, so I just listened to the audio for that one. But um, yeah, the first shelf is all her fantasy books. Really looks good, I really love it. Her second shelf, I think this is probably one of her favorite shelves. I loved how she displayed this. I don't even know who this author is or what the book is about, but that cover, oh my goodness, that is pure gold <laughs> like I really like it it's really nice um, and I think she's done a fantastic job at displaying that um, and then we have she loves absolutely loves shadow and bone that's why it's on the second shelf she's read all the serpent and dove books and I think she just recently 
bought these two. Was it these two? No, these two here. And this one actually, no, these three, sorry. For this one. So I know she told me she's going to get around to reading these. So, And she also bought Forest of Souls, which I think is fantastic. She really loves fantasy. So I think she's done quite well with decorating this shelf. This is her third shelf. And I know she did tell me that she loved reading the Fortuna series, which I think is incredible. These book covers are actually gorgeous. Like, they are so pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I know she just recently bought the last one, I think. Hang on, I'm just going to move these up. But these book covers are just absolutely stunning. I absolutely love them. Like, wow. They are incredible. I loved like how beautiful they look. And I think this is one of her favorite book series at the moment. Oh, and there's Radiance there right in the corner, um, which is one I read. I absolutely loved it. She recommended it to me and I loved it. And I know at the moment she's still bu um, building this part of her bookshelf. So hopefully we get to see more of her books on here. Now we're coming down, I think, to the last two shelves. This is more book series she has a sarah j mass and she also has the throne of glass series as well i actually bought that for her birthday the one there which is quite nice um and then the last shop i think is just like a set of like random books there's christian books on here romance books other books and i think she's still continuing to build this and then the last one has nothing so i know she intends to buy more books but other than that, I think she's very happy with the way it looks and I think she's done a fantastic job on her shelf. Lastly, this is my bookshelf. I have my Harry Potter case there for my books and some of my head A's. These are like Polynesian um, head A's. And then I have my first bookshelf. Now these, as you can tell, they are all my classic books. All of them are all classics. Some of them are like a mix. Um, but I keep I keep all of my classics at the top because they're not books I'm actually kind of reading at the moment. But some of these like book covers are incredible, like Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Um, we have Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, um, and I also have um, Jane Eyre, another beautiful cover. This is actually an Oxford one. And then I have Ronald Dahl's classic. I'm not sure this is a classic, but I actually haven't read any adult books by Ronald Dahl because I know he writes a lot of children's books, but I haven't read some of his adult ones. And then I have Sylvia Platt's The Bell Jar book, which is something I'm really interested to read because I know Sylvia Plath, I think, suffered mental illness. Um, Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. I actually can't wait to read this. I read this in high school and I loved it. And then I have Isabel Lande's books. I also have every other book <laughs> you can think of, but I'm pretty proud of this collection. This is just um, more of my classic books that I keep up here, which is not something I'm going to read at the moment, but hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get around to it soon. Okay, so the next shelf here is more random. Like this is just like a mix of books. And the reason I put them here is because these are books um, I'm probably wanting to get around to reading soon. And it's funny because I have down here, I'm gonna do like a vlog on books that I don't read, in, which is this one, this one, and this one, because I've never read them before. And I'm thinking of doing like a reading vlog on those, but the rest are books I really want to read like The Kite Runner. I really want to read this one. Um, I also want to read um, Burial Rights by Hannah Kent. I know Station Eleven at the moment, there's a TV show out for this. Um, and I think I also want to read this one too, because I've heard some interesting things about this one. So yeah, I'm interested to see what that's about. But other than that, it's just like a mix. Honestly, it's just a mix of books that I think looks fantastic and i can't wait to get around to these as soon as i can 
all right this is more of like my indigenous native bookshelf i think out of all the bookshelves i have this is probably one of my most favorite bookshelves i bought that vogue magazine because it was so good to see indigenous women of australia on it so i had to get a copy it is absolutely gorgeous i'm thinking of getting like a book stand so i can display it better um but other than that this is like more a mix of like native american polynesian um indigenous australian books which is something i am wanting to build more because i feel like i need one bookshop just dedicated to native and authors of color and i just love love just to see them on display it just looks fantastic and one of my favorite books on here is stan grant's australia day which i absolutely loved if you want to know more about indigenous australia get this book get this book it will not disappoint one of the best i've ever read also um this one by tara june winch the yield this is also another fantastic book by indigenous author absolutely loved it absolutely loved it get your hands on that one as well and i've also what do i also have? i've got dawn raid which is another fantastic book by another polynesian author um, and I also have The Boy from the Mesh. Oh, The Boy from the Mesh is a really good book. There, there by Tommy Orange, which is also written by a Native American author. I loved this book. Five stars. Um, and the rest I still need to get around to, which I haven't. Um, but the next one I'm thinking of reading is The Heartbeat of Wounded Knee, which is about Native American history, which is, I think, going to be a very interesting book to read. But so far, I'm very proud of the shelf. I'm hoping this builds up more in the near future. The next shelf I have here is more of a mix. So I have um, black authors from Nelson Mandela and onwards. And then I've just got a mix of books here. But I loved how I've kind of sectioned this off so I kind of can see where I can read most of these. And I'm so happy to see how many black authors i actually have on my shop i've got more but i just gotta make sure that um i can see them all and i can grab them um i did read this one this was actually a really um heartbreaking book to read really really heartbreaking book probably one of the most heartbreaking slavery stories i've ever read absolutely heartbreaking um and i also really want to get around to reading most of these which I haven't because I've got too many books on my TBR. That is ridiculous. But other than that, I'm once again, I want to extend more on this shelf as well. Okay, so this is my last shelf with books. And this one just has more of my Christian books. And I've got most of my nonfiction books, which is there in the corner, as you guys can see. Most of these books, um, the first two there on the side, I've already read. Um, but the rest I haven't. But these are really heavy non-fiction um, books and they deal more with abuse and sexual abuse which is books i'm not willing to get around to at any time soon and then the rest is my christian books um, because i'm a christian i have my two bibles there my king james and my new king james my sunday school book and i do want to buy more christian books i just haven't had the time to and then my last shelf there's nothing because i want to add more books here so yeah i can't wait hey guys so i hope you guys enjoyed my bookshelf tour and if you guys would like me to go in depth into my bookshelves um, i'm more than happy to just leave a comment down below but i hope you guys enjoyed my tour i hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the books on my shelves and if you have any questions just make sure you leave them in the comments below um, i can't wait to hear your feedback but other than that it's really good to be back back on booktube and back to filming once again and i can't wait to start filming more content for you guys so without further ado i'm going to end it here and i'll see you guys in my next one until then Bye.